Hi, in this video, let's create a custom scroll bar using pure CSS. Here, in my HTML file, I've added a div with the class of container. And within this div, I've simply added an h1. Although we do not require any text, I've simply added it so that we can clearly observe our page when we scroll. For the HTML, that is all we need. Now let's go to our CSS file. Here, I've already added some CSS. First, I've added some basic reset. Next, I've given the body a background color of 222. And I've also increased the height to 300 VH so that we have some scrolling space on our page. Next, we have vertically and horizontally centered our H1 by giving it a few flexbox properties. And finally, we have styled the H1. Now, let's start styling our scroll bar. So in order to style a scroll bar, we'll be using a bunch of pseudo elements that specifically target the scroll bar. The first thing we are going to do with our scroll bar is increase its width. And for this, we'll be using the scroll bar pseudo element. Keep in mind that all of these pseudo elements require a WebKit prefix. So let's do that. Here, I'll add a double colon followed by a hyphen, the WebKit keyword, hyphen, scroll bar. Now, let's increase the width of the scroll bar to 30 pixel. Now, if you check in the browser, you can see that the scroll bar is not visible anymore, but it is present on a page. The scroll bar will reappear once we start styling the scroll bar thumb. The scroll bar thumb is this draggable handle that we use to scroll up and down the page. To style the scroll bar thumb, we'll be using the WebKit scroll bar thumb pseudo element. So let's do that. Once again, we'll be adding a double colon followed by a hyphen, then the WebKit keyword, scroll bar, hyphen, thumb. First, let's give our scroll bar a background color. We'll give it a gradient background. So we'll say background, linear gradient. This gradient will consist of three shades of blue. The first one will be 1C79DD. Next, we'll have 193B95. And the final color will be 16. 166B. Now, if we check in the browser, you can see that our scroll bar thumb now has a gradient background. Next, we'll give it a border radius of 30 pixel. We'll also give it a box shadow of 2 pixel horizontal offset, 2 pixel vertical offset, 2 pixel of blur, and we'll be using an RGBA color of 255, 255, 255, and the opacity will be. 0.25 but we want the shadow from the inside so we'll be using the inset keyword and this looks better now the next thing we are going to do is style the scroll bar track the scroll bar track is the area along which the scroll bar moves for this we'll be using the scroll bar track pseudo element so let's do that we'll add the double colon webkit scroll bar track and we'll give it a background color of black and as you can see our scroll bar track now has a black color so that was a very short tutorial on how you can customize a scroll bar on your web page but the question is why would you want to customize the scroll bar one of the reasons why you would want to do that is to match the actual theme of your web page the best example of this is the CSS Tricks website that has a beautiful looking scroll bar that goes well with the rest of the web page. However, keep in mind that this feature is non-standard and may not work the same for all users. So make sure to use it wisely. So that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have a nice day.